All right, let's talk about concatenation. Concatenation, again, for whatever reason, programmers like to use big fancy words, really just means you are joining data together. Now we've seen this a few times. Um, I have, uh, I guess I've, I've created a few examples where I use um, if else statements, things that you haven't learned yet, concatenation, again, things you haven't learned yet. I've sort of been using them to get you used to how they look and how they act without formally understanding how they work. You're just sort of dabbling your toe in the realm of the unknown right now. And that is okay. So in this lesson, we're going to learn what concatenation formally is. So I'm going to start, as always, I'm going to open up that PHP syntax and I'm going to write name is equal to Caleb. And I can say, hi, my name is Hi, my name is Caleb. So in a sense, this is a form of concatenation, but not, not proper concatenation. This is really just adding a variable inside of a string. But what if I wanted to say my last name as well? Well, this variable is already set. How am I going to do that? I could theoretically write Caleb Tallinn, and it'll say, hi, my name is Caleb Tallinn, just as expected. But then I have to overwrite the variable. And sometimes you don't want to overwrite the variable. Now, I could concatenate in two different ways. I can say name is equal to name, and I can use this, this dot in here. So this dot means, whoops, there we go. So this dot right in the middle, that's my period. That's my period symbol. It's saying add this first one with this extra stuff. So now if I save and refresh, nothing changes because it's still concatenating perfectly. Now, there is another option. I'm just going to remove that. And we could echo it directly out. We could say echo name. I'll make this smaller so it fits on one line. Hi, my name is. I use concatenation in the middle of my string. I place my variable inside there. I concatenate another string. Save it. Refresh. Hi, my name is Caleb Telling. So that is concatenation. That is as easy as it gets. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Now, a few other examples. You could say echo name Tallinn, so that's Caleb Tallinn. And by the way, when you're doing this, you don't have to use my name by any means. Use your own name or use the name of your favorite uh, pet, movie, TV show, anything, really. Uh, so this will work as well. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's, let's get a little fancier here. So define HR, and this one is going to be horizontal tag. This one, we say echo HR. And this is a constant. Constant never changes. Echo constant. Constant never changes. Echo my name is. So there we go. Now we're integrating uh, a constant, a variable, concatenation. We're starting to actually join all of these things that we're learning together. So now if you're asking yourself a question along the lines of, Caleb, why would I ever need to use concatenation when your first example actually worked perfectly fine because I could take this out, save, refresh, this line didn't change at all. So why would I even do that? Well, it's because there are two types of quotes in, in PHP. And this is, again, I'm going to create a lesson all about these quotes. But there are single quotes and there are double quotes. So you've got your quotation marks, these double quotes, and these magically let you use variables in here. Name is my name. And so we'll say at the bottom, Caleb is my name. And one sec, I'm just going to push this down so this is more in the center of your screen. And I could also write in a single quote, name is my name. And this actually displays the variable name. So double quotes let you use the variable inside them, and this one doesn't. So when I want to use like, for example, I'm talking about PHP right now, and I want to be able to print this to the page, I could say something along these lines, name, space, add that dot in there, name, there we go. And now that works. So that's the reason why we use the period concatenation. So that's all there is. Rather simple, really. Your task for this lesson is to uh, concatenate. So create a variable, put it as your name, your favorite, uh, your favorite pet, 
your favorite TV show, whatever you like, make some sort of sentence, use that variable and concatenate it like this, or like this, but not like this. In fact, I'm actually gonna change that one back so that this code is not saved that way. Okay, or you could do it this way. Cool, once you're done, I'll see you in the next video.